Marble. I started to join the chat group. Chapter 46. And Linger felt like 10,000 alpacas were galloping in her heart. And Linger thought, why am I so rude? And there's the orphan Nobi Nobita. I'll see if I have authority or not in the future and you'll be done for. The people in the chat group looked at the miserable daredevil Matt Murdock who was attacked, and everyone was full of hope. Uchiha Madara sighed, it's true that both humans and ghosts are showing off, only this masked man is being beaten. Batman Wayne himself, the masked man, was impressed. Kirishima Tuka asked cautiously, group leader, you are not going to show us these ordinary people beating up another ordinary person who is a little stronger, are you? Shamo smiled and said, this has just begun, the good show is still to come. This is the little monster in front. The small boss and the big boss haven't come out yet. Hai Bodong sighed, it seems that they are all little monsters for the group leader. Everyone laughed when they heard it. Is it true? The strength of the group leader is beyond your imagination. Shamo said indifferently, it's mainly because I'm bored, so I came out to find something to do, such as killing one or two small bosses, killing a big boss, and cleaning up a little bit of dirt for this world. The people in the chat group understood that the group leader was too bored, so he ran out to find something to do, and dragged them to watch it together. The people in the chat group were not very resistant, mainly because they didn't dare to resist. Just when Mark Murdock, also known as Daredevil, was about to give up, dozens of ninjas in white clothes rushed in quickly, and instantly killed all the gang members who were about to surround and kill Daredevil. An old man came in with a long alloy stick, and quickly stepped forward to support Daredevil. The old man said, Mark, why are you so impulsive? You can't deal with them alone. Daredevil said helplessly, Master Stick, I can't do anything. Erica has been captured, and I can't contact you. Mrs. Gao of the Hand is up there now, I must rescue Erica. Stick said with a serious look, I know, Master will help you, Erica is also my apprentice. Dozens of white-clothed ninjas led the way in front, and with Stick's extraordinary martial arts, they quickly reached the sixth floor of the Kingpin building. There were still more than 20 floors to Kingpin, and the people in the chat group just watched these guys who were not beyond the scope of ordinary people fighting each other. Just when Daredevil and his group came to the 10th floor, they encountered a large number of hand ninjas. These black-clothed ninjas of the hand instantly surrounded Daredevil and his group. The old man with the stick raised his alloy long stick and smashed down with one stick. A black-clothed ninja was knocked out and hit the tempered glass behind him. The tempered glass was directly cracked and the ribs on the chest of the black-clothed ninja were all shattered. Seeing this, the black-clothed ninjas did not show any fear and surrounded the old man with the stick. The short swords in the hands of the black-clothed ninjas stabbed at the old man with cold light. Seeing this, the old man with the stick sneered and flexibly controlled the alloy long stick in his hands with both hands, turning it quickly and playing dense stick flowers. The group of people who surrounded them joined hands and all the black-clothed people were knocked out. At this time, a tall black-clothed ninja holding a samurai sword raised his sword and cut across the abdomen of the hand. The old man with the stick lifted the alloy long stick up and lifted it back a few steps. Then he jumped up suddenly and smashed down with a heavy and powerful stick. Seeing this, the black-clad ninja could only raise the blade to his head, but the next scene, a scene that shocked him happened. The alloy long stick directly broke his samurai sword, and then hit his right brain heavily. Instantly, blood and brain tissue splattered everywhere. Kirishima Tuka sighed. This old man's strength is not bad, not in the category of ordinary people, at least LV6. Hai Bodong thought for a while and said, I think it's LV5 at most. Nobita Nobi said helplessly, the scene just now was so bloody, I'm still a primary school student. Zhang Chulin said helplessly, weak chicken college student, embarrassed but polite smile. Shamo said calmly, a 26-year-old unemployed vagrant passed by. Quote. Everyone in the chat group ignored the words of Shamo, the group leader. Who would believe what he said? Uchiha Madara looked at Nobi to Nobi and said speechlessly, forget it, real elementary school students are scared to death, and you can still send messages so calmly, which means you are not an elementary school student at all. You are a big shot who sealed himself to keep healthy. Nobi de Nobi was helpless when listening to Uchiha Madara's words, because what he said was true, and now he felt a little nauseous, 
but for some reason he always seemed to disappear very quickly. Just as everyone was chatting, Daredevil and Stickman finally reached the top floor of Kingpin building. Seeing Daredevil and Stickman rushing in, Kingpin and Madame Gao's faces were not very good. They just sent so many people but couldn't kill these guys. It also caused them two heavy losses. Kingpin and Madame Gao looked at each other and decided to work together to kill them all. Kingpin walked over slowly with his men. Madame Gao walked forward under the protection of a group of men in black. The old man asked calmly, Madame Gao, where did you take Erica? As long as you let Erica go, what happened today will be as if nothing happened. Madame Gao smiled and said, Erica has become the new black sky of our prime minister. The beast has descended on her. The Erica you know is dead. Daredevil, who heard the news, lost control of his emotions and shouted, impossible, absolutely impossible. You quickly return Erica to me, otherwise none of you will leave here today. King Bing curled his lips and spit, saying, you are the ones who will not leave here today. You are really tired of living by making trouble on my territory. The next second, he suddenly disappeared, and appeared next to Daredevil at an extremely fast speed, punching Daredevil's body. Daredevil couldn't dodge in time because of his injury. At the critical moment, the old man with the stick stretched out his long stick to block Jin Bing's punch. The fist collided with the alloy long stick, generating a huge airflow, and several ordinary ninjas standing by were shocked and stepped back a few steps. The old man with the stick said coldly, Mr. Jin Bing had better not interfere in this matter. If Mr. Jin Bing can take a step back, I will forgive the injury to my disciple just now. Jin Bing sneered and punched out again. A cold light flashed in the old man's eyes, and the alloy long stick suddenly shook. Jin Bing's fist collided with him and was shaken back. Jin Bing shook his fist, looked at the old man unkindly, and sneered, Very good. Today, neither you nor your apprentice can leave here. Jin Bing walked to Mrs. Gao and said coldly, As long as you get rid of the two of them, I will not stop you from coming to my territory to find things, and I will find someone to help you. Mrs. Gao raised her eyebrows and said, Okay, I'm very happy. Dozens of ninjas behind Mrs. Gao also came forward to besiege Daredevil and others. Because the injury has not improved at all, they can't participate in the battle at all. The old man with the white ninjas began to fight with the dozens of black ninjas. Shamo shook his head helplessly and said, Really, they can't even force a small boss out. I won't talk about the big boss. Let Mewtwo perform. Uchiha Madara asked with a black question mark face, What is Mewtwo? Is it the subordinate of the group leader? Kirishima Tuka also asked curiously, I didn't see anyone around the princess. After coming out of the small dark room for a while, and Ling'er, who had been peeking at the screen, said, Mewtwo is a relatively powerful beast in the world. This world is a world where humans and elves coexist. Everyone heard the administrator and Ling'er's explanation and roughly understood what was going on. They didn't expect that the group leader also had an elf. Shamo didn't say much. When everyone was in a fight, he showed up. I noticed that Shamo was the lady with superpowers, and I, Kingpin, also looked at Shamo. Both of us were stunned. I don't know where this person came from. Shamo just threw a purple master ball so calmly. A red light flashed, and a creature similar to a human and a cat appeared in front of everyone. It was silver white, with purple eyes, tail and abdomen. The external nerve bundle extending from the center of the back extended straight to the back of the neck, and the fingers were composed of three spherical bodies. The moment Mewtwo appeared, a strong mental pressure swept across the whole scene, and he looked at the two humans in front of him with sharp eyes. Looking back at Shamo with a little more tenderness, he asked with telepathy, Master, where is my opponent? Shamo smiled slightly and said, Just kill the two humans in front of you. Mewtwo looked at Mrs. Gao and Kingpin, then turned to look at Sha Mo and said, Just these two weak chickens. This time, Mewtwo not only let Sha Mo hear what he said, but also let everyone hear it. Everyone who was fighting stopped and looked at the situation in front of them, and saw a strange creature floating in the air, with extremely sharp eyes, and the aura on his body was extremely oppressive, giving everyone a strong sense of oppression. Sha Mo looked at Mewtwo and said, these two are just appetizers, there are big guys behind. Mewtwo nodded and stared at the two people again. 
Mewtwo's eyes were filled with killing, tyranny and arrogance. But Madame Gao and Kingpin were not soft persimmons. One was an old monster who had lived for a hundred years, and the other was the leader of the evil forces. The next second, Kingpin exerted force on his feet, and the marble tiles under his feet cracked. The next moment, Kingpin appeared in front of Mewtwo. His huge body moved quickly and brought up a strong wind, and a powerful punch slammed towards Mewtwo. Madame Gao was not idle either. She immediately summoned Erika, also known as Black Sky, with a secret technique. The real body of Black Sky is actually a dark monarch in the dark dimension of Marvel, and he is the younger brother of Dormammu, the lord of the dark dimension. After summoning Black Sky, Madame Gao also joined the battle. She had not expected to encounter such a strong opponent this time. Erika Black Sky was not with her. After summoning her, it would take some time for her to arrive. Madame Gao could only delay time with Kingpin as much as possible. The powerful punch of Kingpin actually hit an invisible telekinetic barrier, and the powerful reaction force shocked Kingpin back again and again. That is, at the moment when the telekinetic barrier appeared, Madame Gao used her superpower, which was also telekinesis. She used telekinesis to control the flying knives to sneak attack Mewtwo from behind. Mewtwo did not react at all, just standing in the air without any reaction, but the next second, dozens of flying knives that were about to approach his body all shattered. There was a blue-purple light flashing in Cheomung's eyes. The countless steel fragments formed by the dozens of flying knives shattered rushed towards Mrs. Gao like a steel tornado. Mrs. Gao, with a face full of fear, saw Kingpin preparing to attack. She used telekinesis to pull Kingpin over and block the attack for him. Kingpin was directly knocked out by the steel torrent, smashing the desk behind him and hitting the bulletproof tempered glass of the building, causing large cracks in the bulletproof glass. Looking at Kingpin who was gradually losing his breath, Mrs. Gao couldn't help but sweat. If she had taken that move just now, she would definitely have been killed, and it would be impossible for her to revive with dragon bones. Looking at Mewtwo's contemptuous eyes, Mrs. Bao swallowed subconsciously. At this moment, a beautiful figure appeared beside Mrs. Gao. This person was Erika who was possessed by Black Sky. After seeing Erika coming, Mrs. Gao didn't know where she got the extra confidence. He ordered Erika to attack Mewtwo in time, but how could Mewtwo at this moment be defeated by Erika, a puppet? Mewtwo directly blasted a strong mental thought, and the powerful mental force acted on Erika, causing the black space in his body to be directly knocked out. Erika, who was out of black space's control, fainted and fell to the ground instantly. Daredevil, who was standing by, risked being attacked by Mewtwo and Madame Gao, picked up Erika and hid far away. After the Black Space clone lost its host body, its strength dropped greatly. The Black Space clone saw the body of Kingpin in the distance. It rushed into Kingpin's body at an extremely fast speed, using the powerful power of dark magic to rapidly activate Kingpin's body. Black Space felt the power of this body, laughed out loud, looked at Mewtwo with resentment and said, you will become my nourishment. Mewtwo looked at the Black Space, who was like a mad dog, and smiled disdainfully. Another strong mental attack came, but this time Haikong actually resisted the impact with his body. He also completely took over this body and would no longer be knocked out of the body by a single blow. Mewtwo raised his eyebrows, looked at Haikong, and smiled playfully. A huge energy ball condensed in his hand, which was the shadow ball condensed by the shadow energy, but this shadow ball was a bit huge. This huge shadow ball directly blasted the black sky possessed by Kingpin out of the building, and the huge explosion echoed in everyone's ears. After dealing with the dozens of ninjas, the old man walked behind Shamo and said with a smile, Thank you for your help, sir. Shamo just nodded and didn't mean to say anything more. Everyone in the chat group was shocked to see Mewtwo take action. Batman Wayne thought for a while and said, Mewtwo is very powerful now. I should not be able to beat him. Just based on the huge black spherical bomb he just used, I am definitely not his opponent. And Lingur introduced, it's not a bomb, it's a skill that elves can learn. The black sphere is called Shadow Ball. Uchiha Madara said, this Mewtwo is just average, anyway, it can't beat me. Hai Bodong also said, but it can't beat us. Its owner can crush us to death with one finger. You can think about it before you speak. Uchiha Madara.
Zhang Chulin looked at the majestic Mewtwo, and seemed to remember something. He asked uncertainly, this Mewtwo seems to be the mythical beast in, Pokemon, because there are, Pokemon, series in our world. And Ling'er asked with a confused face, your world has no Naruto, no Marvel, but there is, Pokemon. This is really a question worth pondering. Kirishima Tuka said helplessly, there are no works in our world, it's really too miserable. Nobita Nobi said strangely, there doesn't seem to be any other works in my world. Lu Pijang thought for a while and said, this may be due to the age. You can ask those archaeological experts to see if there are any such works. Lu Pijang's words confused everyone. What's wrong? Are you so far ahead? You still need to find an archaeological expert. Shamo watched Mewtwo blast the Black Sky clone, and the Black Sky clone retreated one after another. Mewtwo's Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, and Strong Spirit, one skill after another was scattered like beans. The explosion made Haikong retreat continuously. There was nothing he could do. Mewtwo had too many skills. Haikong finally found a gap and prepared to attack Mewtwo. Mewtwo moved behind him in an instant and directly knocked him out with a lightning punch. Haikong, who had finally stabilized his body in the air, was pierced by more than a dozen spiritual blades. Haikong wanted to escape when he saw this. He knew that he had little dark energy left. He finally avoided the Ancient One and entered the Earth. Although it was just a clone, he could slowly absorb the essence of life and become more powerful. He didn't want his clone to die here. Haikong's main body suddenly infused a large amount of dark energy into Haikong's clone. The next moment, the breath around Haikong became extremely deep, and black gas lingered around him. He suddenly disappeared from the spot, and appeared behind Mewtwo the next second, punching Mewtwo's neck. The huge airflow brought a strong wind, and Mewtwo would be injured if it was attacked. But the next second, Mewtwo's body was covered with white light, and he completed his super evolution in 0.01 seconds, just when Haikong's fist was about to hit his neck. Mewtwo disappeared, and then appeared above Haikong's head, using telekinesis to grab Haikong and fly straight up. The people in the chat group could only see a blue stream of light rushing up. After flying for about a minute, Mewtwo grabbed Haikong who was struggling and arrived at an altitude of 10,000 meters. Mewtwo threw Haikong into the air, put his hands together, and opened them instantly. A sphere formed by violent telekinesis appeared in Mewtwo's hands. After the sphere suddenly became dozens of times larger, it began to compress and shrink continuously, and finally became as small as a ping-pong ball. Mewtwo threw the telekinesis ball directly to Haikong, who was imprisoned by his telekinesis above. The moment Mewtwo's telekinetic ball touched Haikong, a powerful energy ripple spread out in all directions, spreading for tens of thousands of meters. Mewtwo also used instant teleportation to return to Shamo at this time. The telekinetic ball that touched Haikong exploded next to Haikong because it lost Mewtwo, which maintained the balance of telekinetic energy. The invisible shock wave dispersed all the clouds above the city. A terrifying energy wave swept the world. The aftermath of the explosion caused by this telekinetic ball, which was as powerful as dozens of nuclear bombs exploding at the same time, swept the world. Before the aftermath of the explosion swept down, Mewtwo opened an energy barrier, covering the entire city below. The impact of the explosion did not affect the city, but the whole world saw this little blue-purple sun. Mewtwo only set up an energy shield for this city, and the rest of the energy shock waves spread in all directions. Because of this energy, huge tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, and magnitude 7 to 8 earthquakes occurred in various places. Just when these disasters were about to affect human cities, Shamo lightly snapped his fingers. The natural disasters that could destroy the world were instantly quelled. Feeling all this, Mewtwo looked at his master Shamo with admiration. Now there was only Mrs. Gao from the hand in the field. Mrs. Gao said awkwardly, can you leave me a complete corpse? Shamo ignored this century-old monster and directly fired a destructive energy, causing it to completely disappear without any possibility of resurrection. Just as Shamo was about to take Mewtwo away from here, a huge space crack appeared above the entire city. A large group of black gas rushed out of the crack, which was the body of the black sky. Black Sky was angry that his clone was destroyed, so he used some means to come to Earth. 
He wanted to kill Mewtwo and Shamo before the Ancient One arrived, and then escape back to the Dark Dimension. Shamo looked at the huge evil spirit surrounded by black air and grinned. With one hand, he grabbed Black Sky's body with a hideous and evil smile in the sky. Shamo smiled and stared at Black Sky and said, It's not your fault that you look so ugly, but it's your problem that you look so ugly and still come out to scare people. There are so many flowers and plants in the city, cats and dogs, it's not good to be scared by you. Black Sky didn't feel anything just now, but now he can feel that the person in front of him is bottomless, as terrifying as the abyss of purgatory. He was about to beg for mercy, and Shamo snapped his fingers again. The huge black demon in front of him turned into a wolf, a wolf with black air all over his body. In fact, it's not wrong to say that he is a dog. The old man and his men watched Sha Mo's operation without daring to breathe, fearing that this terrifying existence would notice them. The old man had previously thought that Sha Mo was a strange person of the Beastmaster type, but he did not expect that he was a terrifying existence that could completely suppress the Black Sky's body. The big black wolf, which was emitting black energy, looked at Sha Mo with bared teeth. Shamo flipped the black wolf from the roof of more than 30 floors to the basement of the underground floor with a slap. Shamo grabbed the neck of Hei Kong before Hei Kong climbed up and held him in the air. Hei Kong wanted to struggle, but it was useless. Shamo's hand was getting tighter and tighter. While exerting force, Shamo said calmly, I will be your master in the future. I will give you to another person as a contracted beast. If you don't obey at that time, you will be killed. Hei Kong nodded desperately with all his strength, and Shamo directly locked him into the different space that Shamo had just created. Shamo and Chao Meng teleported back to their residence. After returning to their residence, Shamo directly used telepathy to take over Kingpin's industry with Bullseye. Bullseye, who had become Shamo's servant, took the task seriously. Shamo's life returned to peace. He turned off the live broadcast room, and everyone went about their own business. Shamo made a cup of tea, took out a novel and began to read it with relish. Three days passed in a flash, and on this morning, Shamo received a call from Tony Stark. After Shamo answered the call, he asked, What's wrong with Tony? Did your little pepper kick you out when you went out for an affair? Tony Stark listened to Shamo's teasing with a black line on his face, but he still said seriously, Just now, Obaston took the reactor from my chest, and I asked little pepper to investigate him. Now little pepper is still in Stark Industries. I'm afraid she's in trouble, so I hope you can protect her. I'll put on my armor and come right away. On the other side, in an underground secret warehouse of Stark Industries, Agent Coulson and several subordinates protected Little Pepper Pepper Pots in the middle and explored this basement. Several agents took strong flashlights to illuminate the surroundings, and they slowly went deep into the deepest part of the underground warehouse and found a scene that shocked them. A giant steel armor with a height of more than 3 meters and equipped with various heavy weapons appeared in front of everyone. Just when Agent Coulson was about to take pictures to collect evidence. The energy matrix on the chest of this giant armor suddenly lit up. Agent Coulson's mobile people saw this and quickly fled. Several agents picked up their pistols and fired at the steel armor. But there was no sign of scratches on the surface of the armor. Obaston, who was in the giant armor Iron Overlord, knew that all his plans had been known by Tony Tank. Now he was at the end of his rope and could only kill all these agents. Finally, he caught Pipo Pots and threatened Tony Stark to hand over all his shares. He tore off all the cables on his body, grabbed an agent, and crushed him into meat paste. Another agent saw that the situation was not good and quickly retreated. Before he ran for long, he was turned into a hornet's nest by the dense rain of Gatling bullets. Agent Coulson ran to the ground with Pepper Potts, but Iron Munger chased after him and punched Agent Coulson next to Pepper Potts. But just as his fist was about to hit Coulson, Iron Munger was knocked away by an invisible force. It was Mewtwo, who was released by Summer who arrived at the scene the moment he received the call, who knocked him away using telekinesis. Shamo was too lazy to deal with this kind of trash, so he just let Mewtwo deal with it. Mewtwo directly hit Iron Monger's body with a shadow ball. A huge explosion roared on the street, and Obaston in Iron Monger's armor was shocked. He had never seen such a creature. What kind of power knocked him out directly? 
The body showed that the damage had reached 15%. Ovaston thought that Iron Munger was damaged by 15% just by being hit by the Black Sphere. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but feel cold in his heart. Coulson was also shocked when he saw this scene. Looking at Mewtwo and Shamo who was calm beside him, he couldn't help but imagine that Mewtwo might be an alien and Shamo might be the incarnation of God. Shamo's voice interrupted Coulson's wonderful thoughts. Shamo asked, don't you have any high-end combat power in shield? Seeing you, an ordinary person, carrying out such a mission, isn't that a way to die? Coulson smiled helplessly and said, it seems that you also know our shield. There is no way, special talents will not join S.H.I.E.L.D. My highest combat power is just the level of ordinary people. I can't do it either. Life is not easy. Shamo said speechlessly, then why don't you do something else? Go to S.H.I.E.L.D. to be an agent, or start a company and be the boss. Isn't it better? Coulson could only smile awkwardly and didn't say much. Mewtwo dismantled Iron Munger into pieces just like dismantling a toy. Coulson's eyelids twitched wildly when he saw this scene. He was thinking, what kind of monsters are these? He dismantled the Gundam with his bare hands. No, he didn't even use his hands, he dismantled the Gundam with his eyes. Mewtwo used telekinesis to lift Obaston and flew back. He looked at Shamo and said, this big guy is too weak. I have dealt with him. I pulled out the guy inside. Let's see how to deal with him. Coulson was so surprised. He analyzed frantically in his heart, such a powerful alien elf calls Shamo, and it is possible that he is a god. How strong is Shamo himself? The disappeared mountain range is probably his masterpiece. I must report it to the director. Shamo looked at Obaston who was like a dead dog and said lightly, you can hand him over to Agent Coulson. Mewtwo knocked Obaston unconscious and threw him to Coulson. Coulson quickly ordered the remaining agents who escaped the disaster to seal off the scene and tie up Obaston. Shamo smiled and looked at Coulson and said, This is my phone number, your bald chief. If you have anything, call this number. Don't just run to someone else's house casually. Coulson took the business card and said, Mr. Shamo, right. I will pass your words to the chief. After Shamo finished speaking, he disappeared from the spot, and Mewtwo also disappeared at the same time. Not long after Shamo left, Iron Man Tony Stark arrived late. He was relieved to see the mess in Pepper Potts safe and sound. From Pepper Potts, he learned that it was the Shamo he mentioned who saved her and Coulson's lives. Tony Stark sighed, I still owe him a favor, and now I owe him more and more. How can I pay it back in the future? Shamo returned to his apartment and spent a few days peacefully. Black Egg did not call to harass him, and everyone in the chat group was busy with their own things. But after Shamo was silent for a week, Uchiha Madara said to everyone in the chat group, Naruto may be born early, in the next two days, and that team of reincarnations may also come here. Shamo replied, Got it, at Nobi Nobita, at Jong Chulin. Get ready, we will be transferred to the Naruto world in ten minutes. Nobi Nobita said, Got it. I'll go and call back Doraemon who bought Doriaki. Jong Chulin also replied. Got it, I'm ready here. Batman Wayne said. Envy has changed me beyond recognition. Kirishima Tuka said. Envy plus 10086. Hai Bodong also said helplessly. Why not me, then those two, their fighting power is not as durable as mine. Lu Pijang also let go in the chat group during this period, and said with a smile. I feel that Hai Bodong you are driving but I have no evidence. Quote. Xiao Bai said. No need to feel, he is driving. And Ling Er laughed and teased. Don't drive in front of me, a high school student who is not yet an adult. Kirishima Dongxiang said speechlessly. Forget it, administrator, you should know a lot at your age, can you not pretend to be innocent? Uchiha Madara provoked. Kirishima Dongxiang, you dare to say that the administrator is not innocent. Don't you understand the meaning of the word authority? Batman Wayne also interrupted. It's really that the Uchiha who drives the Gundam is so proud. Even our former group owner, the current administrator girl, dares to tease. Quote. And Lingor looked at the tone of everyone teasing her and said that if she couldn't beat you, she would have given you all the authority long ago. After Uchiha Madara finished teasing, he left the chat group and looked at the wind and sand all over the sky the wild wind dancing, and a desolate desert. 
After roughly estimating the time, he separated ten would escape clones. Uchiha Madara directly commanded his ten wood style clones to attack the sand village. The ten wood style clones did not use any hiding means, and the ninjas patrolling the outer periphery of the sand village soon discovered the ten figures wearing red robes and armor. Before the patrolling ninjas could reprimand the ten suspicious guys, dozens of shurikens drew several strange arcs and cut through the throats of several patrolling ninjas who were caught off guard. Blood spurted out continuously, and after a few seconds, several patrolling ninjas fell to the ground and lost all their lives. The ten wood-style clones rushed towards the outer wall of the sand village without any hesitation. The guards on the wall discovered the ten uninvited guests and found that there was an enemy attack, and they immediately sounded the alarm. They attacked Uchiha Madara's ten wood-style clones. More than a dozen people released wind ninjutsu at the same time, and hundreds of dense and overwhelming wind blades covered the wooden shield clones. One of the wood clones stopped his fast forward body, formed a seal with both hands, put his right hand to his mouth, and sprayed a flame to cover all the wind blades in front. This is the fire ninjutsu that the Uchiha family is best at. But the power is dozens of times louder. It is hard to believe that this is just a ninjutsu that a wood clone can release. The huge fireball swept towards the sand ninja guards who attacked them on the sand city wall. The terrifying heat wave can be felt even by the sand ninjas far away. Dozens of sand ninjas in the area covered by the fireball technique were all turned into ashes. The power of this attack was so terrifying that the sand ninjas who had not yet arrived swallowed their saliva when they saw this scene. Uchiha Madara's wood-style clones did not hesitate and quickly occupied the sand wall. Ten clones stood at ten points on the sand wall. Uchiha Madara's words spread to the ears of everyone in the sand village. Your sand village has been surrounded by me, Uchiha Madara. Today, you either surrender or die. Hearing Uchiha Madara's harsh words, all the ninjas in the sand village looked solemnly in the direction of the wood-style clone. At this time, Keisuke Rosa also came out and said in an extremely tough manner, it is impossible to surrender, even if Senju Hashirama comes. Don't think about leaving our sand village alive today. Kill me. Uchiha Madara's face darkened. He had endured for so long. It seemed that the world had almost forgotten the evil-faced Shira who could be on par with Hashirama, not to mention that he was much stronger than Hashirama now. Uchiha Madara, who had already used the space transmission ability of the Samsara I to come to the outside of Konoha village to wait for Sha Mo and others, received the information of his wood-style clone, and his face became more gloomy. Uchiha Madara gave the order directly, destroy the sand village directly, bring me the head of the case cage Rosa, and tell all the sand ninjas who survived by chance to elect a new case cage in a week and have him come to Konoha to meet me. After receiving the information from the original body, the ten wood release clones began to seal. Ten seconds later, the ten wood release clones looked up at the sky, and then left one clone to move quickly outside the sand village. Everyone in the sand village felt that the top of their heads was dark, and the sunlight was shrouded by the shadow covering a large area. Everyone looked up and saw a terrifying scene. A huge meteorite rushed towards the sand village. The size of the meteorite was almost half the size of the sand village. The hearts of the sand village seemed to be grabbed by something. When someone reacted, they ran out of the door. Some ninjas looked at the sky unwillingly, while the case cage Rosa was just terrified. He had never expected such a ninjutsu, summoning a meteorite from outer space to hit them, this was too terrifying. As the case cage, he had to take this attack head on. If he couldn't take it, the sand ninja village would be finished. He gathered all his gold sand and released chakra to control a large amount of sand iron, forming a huge iron sand net bag under the meteorite, trying to intercept this meteorite from outer space. But with Rose's current strength, he couldn't stop it at all, so he could only settle for the next best thing and make the iron sand net smaller, enough to cut the whole meteorite into small pieces. But the diameter of the falling meteorite was about 5 meters, and the big one was 7 or 8 meters. The ninjas below saw this scene and ignited hope, and began to use ninjutsu to block the falling gravel. Just when all the gravel was broken into small pieces, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. But one scene made them stand there in a daze, because there was another meteorite that was even bigger than the previous one. This time, Rosa, who had consumed a lot of chakra, 
could no longer resist it, and the people of the sand village fell into despair again. Only elite Jonans could escape from the sand village before the second sky-blocking star fell, and other Jonans, Chunans, and Jenans had no chance of escaping. After Rosa looked helplessly at the second huge meteorite in the sky, he directly controlled the iron sand to form a pair of wings and flew rapidly toward the outside of the sand village. Rosa had just flown out of the sand village, less than a thousand meters away, when he heard a huge crash from behind, followed by a strong shock wave that directly shook him out. When he got up and flew into the air, he saw the sand village, which was already in ruins, and he roared unwillingly. But the next moment he was stunned, because nine wood-style clones of Uchiha Madara appeared around him. Moreover, each wood-style clone was in the second form of Suzano. Uchiha Madara's wood style was wrapped in a skeleton with a blue halo. One of the wood style clones laughed evilly and said, even if you just called for Hashirama Senju to come, it would be impossible. You're good. You have guts. The wood style clone controlled the huge skeleton palm of Suzano to slap Rosa. Rosa tried her best to release the last bit of chakra to form a 10 meter high steel wall to resist the attack of the wood style clone. But the Suzano hand that was about to hit the iron wall stopped. Rosa, who didn't hear any movement behind the wall, didn't wait for him to breathe a sigh of relief, and nine chakra swords appeared above his head. It was these nine wood-style clones that used their own chakra to form nine chakra giant swords and slashed down at Rosa, who was terrified below. These nine chakra giant swords directly dismembered Rosa. A wood-style clone released the state of Suzano, used wood style to create a wooden box, and threw Rosa's head into it. The remaining seven wood style clones began to hunt down those elite Jonan, and screams rang out in the desert. The last wood style clone returned to the broken wall of the sand village, which had become a ruin, and used chakra to amplify his voice toy can be heard within a radius of 100 miles. I know there are still people alive in the ruins. If you still want revenge, don't think too much. All your elite masters have been killed by me. You guys still want revenge. Now I order you to select a new case cage within 10 days, and let him meet me in Konoha 10 days later. In the future, there will be only one absolute leader in the ninja world, and there will only be one voice, that is, Uchiha Madara. Uchiha Madara's voice echoed in the ears of the living people in the sand village, and it could not be dispersed for a long time. The spies from various villages who monitored the sand village knew that with the destruction of the sand village, the sky of the ninja world would change. At the same time when the sand village was destroyed, Shamo and his men had already met with Uchiha Madara who had been waiting for a long time outside Konoha. Uchiha Madara said very respectfully, Master, you are here, we just need to wait for those guys to fall into the trap. Shamo nodded and said, Let's find a comfortable place to rest and wait for the destruction of Konoha village. When Konoha village is destroyed, that group of reincarnations will perish. Nobi to Nobi thought for a while and said, I don't kill people, and Doraemon doesn't kill people either. Doraemon on the side rolled his eyes, because he knew Nobi to Nobi's true strength and what he had done. Now that he is sealed, Nobi to may not have killed anyone, but before he was sealed, Nobi to killed a lot of people. He can be said to be a killing god. Otherwise, how do you think the timeline is unified? Zhang Chulin asked, I just don't know how strong those reincarnations are. Are there any opponents suitable for me? If they are too strong, I can only play soy sauce. Nobi to Nobi said, it's not good to play soy sauce. I really don't want to kill anyone. Shamo thought for a while and said, now we are relatively free, I brought a deck of playing cards, let's play poker. The other three looked at Shamo with a black question mark face, Shamo said awkwardly, what are you looking at? Haven't you played poker? Zhang Chulin said cautiously, group leader, we are on a mission now. Isn't it a bit inappropriate to play poker? Shamo said indifferently, I am invincible, you can do whatever you want, those few little Luo Luo are not worth my attention, their boss lord god is here, I may be able to arouse a little interest. Everyone had nothing to say. You can only find a cave, and the four rounds started playing poker. Nobi to Nobi and Uchiha Madara didn't know how to play at first, but after Shamo and Zhang Chulin explained, they soon understood the rules. Shamo also opened a live broadcast room. As soon as the chat group came in, they saw the poker cards in Shamo's hands and were full of questions. 
As the poker game started, the chat group began to watch with relish. Just as the few people were having fun, there was movement in Konoha, and a huge explosion resounded through the sky. Nine figures appeared on the Hokage Rock in the back mountain of Konoha. The leader of the nine was a short-haired man wearing boxing gloves. He said with a murderous look on his face, the Lord God has abandoned us. Now we can only rely on ourselves. Kill Naruto, snatch his great fortune, and obtain the original power of this world. Only then can we leave this barren Naruto world and return to our martial arts world. A female reincarnation standing next to the leading man said uneasily, Captain Chen. I feel that this matter is not so simple. The Lord God will not abandon us for no reason. We still have to be more careful. An inconspicuous man in the reincarnation team smiled and said, Sister Fang, you don't have to worry too much. With our strength, if we can't go back to our own world, it's no problem to occupy this Naruto world. The other people also nodded to show that what this person said was correct. Captain Chen waved his hand and said, we only have one way to go now, that is to kill the son of luck and seize the origin. If the Lord God does not contact us after we seize the origin of the world, we will occupy the entire world and become the supreme God of this world. Even if there is any danger, we can't escape. Everyone nodded to express their trust in Captain Chen. This team of reincarnations are from the same world. They have experienced more than a dozen reincarnation missions together and went to more than a dozen worlds to perform missions. There is still tacit understanding and trust between them. When the nine people came to the outside of Konoha village, they shot the blood bomb into more than a dozen ordinary villagers. There was nothing abnormal about these dozens of villagers. After these dozens of villagers entered Konoha village and dispersed, the reincarnation who could control the blood to explode in other people's bodies silently said in his heart, explode. Loud explosions sounded everywhere in Konoha village, and the blood and fire seemed extremely dazzling under the soft moonlight. Several people in the chat group who were playing poker outside the cave also noticed the abnormality in Konoha village at the first time. Uchiha Madara looked at Shamo and said, group leader, I will go to the Uchiha base first to check, so that my last few people will not be killed by them. Shamo waved his hand and said, go, go, I will sit with them for a while, and you can save Naruto's family by the way. Uchiha Madara asked, didn't you say that you would only save Naruto? Shamo thought for a while and said, I don't really want such an interesting guy like Naruto to become an orphan. Okay, okay, don't ask so many questions, go. Uchiha Madara nodded and opened a space channel in front of him. The next moment, Uchiha Madara stepped into it. Shamo looked at the remaining Nobi to Nobi and Jong Chulin and said, Now there are three of us left, how about playing landlord? Doraemon will deal the cards. The tool man Doraemon walked over helplessly, shuffled the cards, and dealt them to the three people again. The Konoha village was already in chaos. In a secret place, Namikaze Minato, who was waiting for his wife Kashina to give birth, looked at his wife Kashina apologetically and said, it seems something has happened now. I'll go see you. Wait for me to come back. After saying that, a golden light flashed and he disappeared from the spot. The next second, Namikaze Minato appeared on the Hokage building. Looking at the chaotic Konoha village, Namikaze Minato frowned. He began to use flying thunder god to shuttle around the village. Finally, he found an enemy, a man with an afro and a strong bloody fluctuation all over his body. He just stood behind a group of villagers who had been controlled by his blood, and now looked at the blonde man who suddenly appeared 50 meters ahead. Namikaze Minato looked at the afro smiling at him with anger in his eyes, and said in a very cold tone, Who are you? Why are you attacking Konoha village? The man smiled evilly and said, You can call me the bloody explosion. As for why I attacked Konoha village, you will know in a moment. After the bloody explosion finished speaking, the dozens of villagers controlled by him rushed towards Namikaze Minato. Namikaze Minato felt something strange the moment the first villager approached him, and felt that there was a violent energy in his body. He immediately used Flying Thunder God to teleport to a house next to him. Konoha village was full of marks made by him, and Namikaze Minato could easily appear at any location. The villager who just approached Namikaze Minato's body was in chaos, and his body began to swell. 
The violent energy tore his body into pieces, and the huge energy shock wave accompanied by the flames generated by the blood and energy ignited the surroundings. The dozens of villagers also exploded at the same time, and the huge explosion shock wave turned all the houses next to him into ruins. Minato Namikaze had no choice but to retreat again. He had roughly understood the opponent's means. His understanding was that the opponent could inject a strange chakra into other people's bodies, and finally detonate this energy to produce huge destructive power. Thinking of this, Minato Namikaze also felt very difficult. He first threw three flying thunder god kanai at the bloody explosion. When the flying thunder god kanai was still one meter away from the bloody explosion, a controlled villager stood in front of the bloody explosion without hesitation. Minato Namikaze sighed in his heart, and the next moment he appeared in front of the bloody explosion, and a Rasengan was instantly condensed in his hand. He threw another flying thunder god kanai in his hand forward. The bloody explosion turned his head to avoid the flying thunder god kanai, and then condensed blood in his hand and turned sideways to hit the back. At the moment he hit, something appeared behind him with a Rasengan to face his bloody steel fist. The next second, Minato Namikaze was knocked out. At the moment when Minato Namikaze was knocked out, he used the flying thunder god technique again and appeared in the distance. Minato Namikaze felt the pain in his arm. He knew that this opponent was not simple. The enemy named Bloody Explosion just predicted his prediction, as if he knew what he was going to do next. He attacked the position behind him at the first time. Minato Namikaze found it hard to believe why the other party had such a fighting intuition, just like predicting the future. Bloody Explosion smiled and thought to himself, Boy, don't think I haven't seen Naruto. You must have used the Flying Thunder God second stage. I can beat you easily. Minato Namikaze made up his mind and used the Sage Mode, which he was not very proficient in. After Minato Namikaze's Sage Mode, his body and mind are completely integrated with the big characters. Now the power of the ninjutsu he performs will be greatly improved. The next moment, Minato Namikaze appeared next to the bloody exploder again, and a large ball Rasengan was launched towards the bloody exploder. The bloody exploder also gathered blood energy into his fist, and the fist wrapped in a large amount of blood energy hit the large ball Rasengan heavily. A huge explosion occurred at the moment the two sides came into contact. Minato Namikaze used Flying Thunder God to retreat to a distance at the moment he carved out the large ball Rasengan. Namikaze Minato looked at the chakra wrapped in his flesh and blood fist and punched his fairy magic big jade Rasengan into a sky full of light spots. Bloody Explosion laughed and said, Although I can't kill you, I can destroy Konoha. Let's see how you can stop me. Just as Namikaze Minato frowned and thought about countermeasures, a huge explosion suddenly occurred in Kashina's secret delivery room. Namikaze Minato turned his head in astonishment and looked in that direction. He instantly realized that he had been tricked. There was more than one enemy, and the enemy's real target was Kashina. But what Namikaze Minato couldn't have thought of was that the enemy's real target was his newly born son Naruto. Bloody Explosion smiled evilly and said, It seems that you have realized our plan, but it's too late. The fastest man in the ninja world, but he will always be late. Namikaze Minato's heart trembled, and he didn't pay attention to this difficult guy anymore. He directly used the Flying Thunder God coordinates left outside the delivery room to move in space. He appeared outside the delivery room, looking at the house that had been engulfed in flames, and Minato Namikaze's heart seemed to be grabbed by something, and he rushed through the sea of fire. But the next second he saw an unbelievable scene. A huge skeleton was protecting his wife and newborn son, and the huge skeleton was facing eight people wearing strange combat uniforms. The captain named Chen said in disbelief, maybe, why is Uchiha Madara still alive? And he doesn't look like he's aged at all. The female reincarnation named Fang Jia also looked at Uchiha Madara who had just used Suzano to resist their attack in disbelief. Just when the two sides were deadlocked, Minato Namikaze rushed in. He was stunned for a second when he saw the situation in the field, and then he understood what was going on. The man wearing red armor, exuding amazing momentum all over his body, summoned a skeleton, and protected his wife and children should be a member of the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Madara looked at Namikaze Minato who rushed in and said, I am Uchiha Madara. The enemy this time is very strong. 
You take your wife and children and leave quickly. Leave the rest to me. Hashirama is not here, I will protect the village. Uchiha Madara is online. The moment he saved Namakaze Minato, he thought of a way to whitewash himself, and he didn't even need to whitewash himself, because he had joined the chat group, and his plan had not yet been launched. Now that the wife and son of the fourth Hokage have been saved, it will be very convenient to take over Konoha in the future, and his plan to unify the ninja world will also be achieved very smoothly. Uchiha Madara murmured, the group leader has helped me consider so much, and asked me to save Naruto's family. There should be such considerations. It just so happens that I will be a good person this time. Everyone says that I, Uchiha Madara, am a villain. Today I will be a savior. Namakaze Minato came to Uchiha Madara with a body flash technique and held Kashina and Naruto in his arms. Namakaze Minato said gratefully, Thank you, Madara Senpei. We will leave now, and leave the rest to you, senior. Knowing how powerful these enemies were, he knew that he, a Hokage who had just taken office, could not deal with them. Namakaze Minato decisively took Kashina and Naruto and instantly moved to the Uchiha clan's territory. As soon as Minato Namakaze arrived at the Uchiha clan, he found that all the Uchiha clan members had gathered together. In front of them stood a man with a shaggy hairstyle and wearing red armor. This man was Uchiha Madara's wood-style clone. At this moment, the Uchiha Madara clone said loudly, In the past, Hashirama protected Konoha. Now Hashirama is gone, and the Senju clan has fallen. Only our Uchiha clan is protecting Konoha. Now all of you except Uchiha Fugaku go to evacuate the villagers and let them enter the shelter quickly. Uchiha Fugaku, you are responsible for protecting the fourth Hokage and his family. My other clones will fight the enemy in Konoha. Uchiha Fugaku looked at the legendary figure of their Uchiha clan with respect in his eyes, and did not disobey his words at all. Namakaze Minato watched from afar as Uchiha Madara commanded the Uchiha clan to rescue the villagers, and thought of the village's suppression of the Uchiha clan, and felt ashamed. Namakaze Minato walked forward holding Kashina and Naruto. Uchiha Fugaku saw Namakaze Minato coming and quickly asked several female Uchiha clan members to take Kashina and Naruto to a quiet room to rest. Namakaze Minato looked at Uchiha Madara and said, Madara Senpei, I will go and help too. Although the enemy is very strong, I can still fight. I am the fourth Hokage. Uchiha Madara's clone also began to act out. Namakaze Minato can tell you seriously that their target is not Kashina and Nine Tails but Naruto. Your son Naruto will be the son of luck in the entire Naruto world in the future. They want to rob your son of luck. My real body is fighting with them here. I am just a clone. If they attack me by surprise, I can't stop them. What we need now is you and Fugaku to protect Naruto. I have called some friends. They will come to help us deal with the enemy this time. This world is not as simple as you think. Namakaze Minato looked at Uchiha Madara who looked extremely solemn and asked, Madara, what do you mean by this? Is there a stronger enemy? Uchiha Madara smiled and said, Not only powerful, but very powerful. The reason why the ninjas in this world were born is because a servant of that race ate the fruit of the sacred tree and combined with humans to give birth to two sons. One of them is the Six Path Sage, the ancestor of Chakra we know, and the servant I am talking about is the mother of the Six Path Sage, Otsutsuki Terazuki. And this Otsutsuki Terazuki, the origin of Chakra in our world, is just a servant of the Otsutsuki clan. If the Otsutsuki clan comes again, our world will no longer exist. Namakaze Minato was sweating profusely when he heard this. He swallowed and said, Mata Senpei means that those enemies will come again. Could it be that the ones who came today are the Otsutsuki clan? Uchiha Madara shook his head and said, These are invaders from the outside world, and they are more powerful than the Otsutsuki clan. Don't worry. My friends are specifically dealing with them, but they will not help our world resist the Otsutsuki clan. What we have to do now is to gather the power of the whole world and prepare to welcome the Otsutsuki clan that may come in the future. Now those big countries and big ninja villages are still fighting among themselves. If they continue like this, when the Otsutsuki clan comes, we will have no room for resistance. After the enemy is eliminated this time, we have to start to unify the ninja world. Quote. Namakaze Minato did not respond to Uchiha Madara's words immediately. 
He thought for a while and said, Senior Ban means to unify the ninja world to resist the Otsutsuki clan. We should not be able to do it with Konoha's strength. Uchiha Madara smiled and said, I will make all the big countries and all the big ninja villages surrender. At that time, I will build a huge city near the rain country, which is the intersection of all the big countries. At that time, Konoha will need you to manage it. Namikaze Minato looked at Uchiha Madara who was very serious and did not agree immediately, but said, I will think about it. Uchiha Madara did not force it. It was not a big problem for him to unify the ninja world with his current strength. Uchiha Madara thought to himself, my mouth is not good enough, not as strong as Naruto. But I have almost fooled Namikaze Minato. Wait, how can it be considered fooling? I am telling the truth. It's just that now that there is a chat group, the Otsutsuki clan is not to be feared. Just as Uchiha Madara's would release clone was talking to Namikaze Minato. A fierce battle was taking place outside Kashina's delivery room, and eight reincarnations were besieging Uchiha Madara. Two of the eight reincarnations were almost as strong as Uchiha Madara. Although the other six reincarnations were not very strong, their constant harassment made the battle hardened Uchiha Madara exhausted. Uchiha Madara used an enhanced version of the fire dragon technique, with a long tail flame, to rush towards the eight reincarnations. The fire dragon opened its bloody mouth and pounced on the captain of the reincarnation team. The blood condensed long sword in the hands of the reincarnation team chopped it down, splitting the dragon head of the fire dragon in two with a powerful air wave. The flames quickly extinguished under the suppression of blood. Uchiha Madara used his Uchiha fan to block the blood missiles from the two weak but sneak attack loving Samsara members next to him. After blocking a round of sneak attacks, Uchiha Madara retreated more than 10 meters to the back. Then he formed seals with his hands, and 40 wood release clones appeared in front of him. Uchiha Madara laughed wildly and said, Don't you like to outnumber the weak and make sneak attacks? Now let's see who has more people. Don't blame me for bullying you because you have fewer people. Before Uchiha Madara could continue to say anything, the captain of the Samsara team opposite and the female Samsara Fang both smiled disdainfully. The blood and energy of the two people surged, and a hundred blood clones were instantly separated. The strength of each blood clone was no weaker than Uchiha Madara's would release clone. Uchiha Madara took the opportunity to use the detection function of the chat group to look at the strength level of the two. My goodness, the captain of the samsara is at level 88, the female samsara is at level 78, and the weakest in this samsara team is at level 10. Looking at the samsaras and blood clones surrounding him, Uchiha Madara no longer cared about his face and the arrogant image of Uchiha. Uchiha Madara quickly said in the chat group, At Sha Mo, Nobi Nobita, Zhang Chulin, come and help me, I may not be able to hold on here. There is a female reincarnation LV78, their captain is LV88, and there are six reincarnation team members with strong strength, the lowest of which is LV10. Come here quickly, don't play poker anymore, if you play, I will go to see the six path sage. Hai Bodong said sarcastically, no way. No way. Our arrogant Uchiha Madara has also had this day. Didn't you say that my LV91 is nothing? Why do you ask for help from a LV88 and a LV78? Uchiha Madara was too lazy to pay attention to this mocking monster. Zhang Chulin responded first, we will be there soon. In one minute, we will reach the battlefield. Let's finish this game. Uchiha Madara really wants to use the three people's ancestors as the center and blood relatives as the radius to scold for three days and three nights. It's really hard to finish this round at this time. Uchiha Madara only risked one minute, but he was Uchiha Madara. The pupil power in the eyes of the samsara eyes surged wildly, and one Suzano after another rose from the ground. Forty Suzanos in the third form began to push towards a samsara. Uchiha Madara's body activated the complete form of Suzano, pulled out the chakra long sword at his waist, and slashed at the captain of the samsara. The knife struck the air with sparks, and the flaming knife slashed towards the captain of the samsara with amazing power. The captain of the samsara focused his eyes, gathered strength in his hands, and an invisible blood energy condensed in his hands. He exerted force on his feet, and the ground exploded. Bajra demon subduing fist. The captain of the samsara was extremely confident in his punch. 
This Vajra demon subduing fist was strengthened by the Lord God and possessed the power of a high-level earth-level martial arts. The martial arts that were already known in the heavens and all worlds that were higher than the earth-level martial arts were also of the heaven level. The captain of the samsara who soared into the sky punched the blade of the giant chakra long sword. The chakra long sword, which was harder than super alloy and more than 100 meters long, shattered with a sound. After the punch shattered the long sword, the power was weakened by 50%, and it hit Suzano's chest again. Suzano is known as the strongest defense in the Naruto world, but after resisting for a moment, the body of Suzano was smashed by this punch. Uchiha Madara was sweating coldly when he saw this scene. If the Suzano he was in had been hit on the head, he might have died here today. Uchiha Madara also quickly left the broken Suzano and ran towards the cave in the distance where Shamo and the others had just stayed. The captain of the reincarnation could only condense his cold light and chase after him with the Beidou Gengbu strengthened by the main god. The speed was so fast that he caught up with Uchiha Madara in less than 10 seconds, and with a powerful Vajra conquering demon fist, he bombarded Uchiha Madara's heart. Uchiha Madara had no time to dodge, so he could only hold his Uchiha fan to resist the blow. The Uchiha fan that could originally resist the tailed beast ball was directly smashed by this punch. Uchiha Madara was blown away dozens of meters, and a lot of blood spurted out of his mouth. Before Uchiha Madara could get up, the captain of the samsara had already appeared in front of Uchiha Madara, ready to kill Uchiha Madara with one blow. This time he hit Uchiha Madara's head. But at this moment, Shamo, who was wearing casual clothes, appeared beside the captain of the samsara, and held his fist against Uchiha Madara's head with one finger. Shamo said calmly, your main god was scared away, and you, a little samsara, are still brave. You dare to hurt my group members. The samsara looked at the mysterious man who was calmly holding his fatal punch with one finger. Listening to the words of the mysterious man, the captain of the samsara seemed to fall into an endless abyss. He finally understood why the main god abandoned them, because of the mysterious young man in front of him. Even the lord god is not his opponent. Facing such an existence, is it really possible for him to survive? In various places in Konoha village, the loyal subordinates of the third Hokage and Danzo are being slaughtered by Uchiha Madara's wood-style clones, and Danzo and the third Hokage have been surrounded and killed by a large number of Uchiha Madara's wood-style clones. Uchiha Madara knew that these two people could not be left alive, so he took advantage of the chaos in Konoha to wipe them out. Back to the battlefield, at the moment when Sha Mo was the captain of the samsara. Five meters behind the samsara, a pink door appeared. With a click, Zhang Chulin, Nobi to Nobi and Doraemon walked out. At the moment when Doraemon and Nobi to Nobi walked out of the arbitrary door, the whole battlefield was quiet. The samsara members who were fighting fiercely with Uchiha Madara's wood-style clone all looked at Doraemon, Mainly because this blue fat man was too conspicuous and this image was too deeply rooted in people's hearts. Nobi to Nobi looked at the chaotic battlefield and said to Doraemon, Doraemon, let's go and defeat these enemies. Shamo glanced at the two people who had rushed towards the Samsara team, and then looked at Zhang Chulin and said, Zhang Chulin, the strength of those enemies is not enough for you to deal with now, you can just watch the battle here. After Shamo finished speaking, he flicked his finger lightly and directly bounced the samsara captain several thousand meters away. The samsara captain crashed straight into a mountain, destroyed the mountain, and slowly climbed out of the rubble of the mountain. If Shamo hadn't restrained his strength, that finger would have bounced him into ashes. Doraemon handed the spare four-dimensional pocket to Nobi to Nobi, and then took out a light sword from his pocket. It was the electric light pill that could automatically attack and defend, and various sword techniques. This was a long sword that emitted golden electric light. Doraemon took the light sword and rushed into the army of samsara clones who were fighting fiercely with Uchiha bands would release clones. With one sword, the dazzling yellow electric light slashed the neck of the samsara clone. The next second, the blood of the samsara clone was beaten into blood. Doraemon was like a tiger entering a flock of sheep slashing one of the blood clones of the samsara clone with one sword. Doraemon was getting more and more excited because he accidentally slashed the Suzano hand that Uchiha Madara controlled to smash the samsara clone in the third form of Suzano. 
Seeing that he accidentally hurt his friendly forces, Doraemon smiled apologetically and continued to join the battle. Everyone in the chat group was stunned. Seeing such a heroic Doraemon, they didn't know what to say. Kirishima Tuka said, who told me that there are many Doraemon? This knife cut off Suzano's arm. What kind of attack power is this? Hai Bodong looked at Doraemon who was like a killing god and sighed, Doraemon, who usually looks harmless, when he picks up his electric pill, I dare say that Dozun can't take his knife. We have to respect him in the Dochi world. And Ling'er said speechlessly, the main thing is that the knife is powerful. It can automatically attack, automatically defend, and automatically dodge. It can also resolve the enemy's moves in all directions. Doraemon's life strength should not be very good. But before and Ling'er finished speaking, several mice suddenly emerged from the explosion site. They should have been scared out by the battle fluctuations just now. When Doraemon saw these mice, the eyes of the whole mechanical cat turned red, and he screamed, there are mice, there are mice, there are mice on the big bear's side. As everyone looked at him in astonishment, Doraemon stepped down, and the ground within a radius of one kilometer collapsed. The ground seemed to be plowed, and the terrifying vibration was like an earthquake. The blood clones of the reincarnationists and Uchiha Madara's wood clone standing on it were all shattered. Those mice were instantly suppressed into the ground, dead and dead. Doraemon panted heavily, looking at the mice that had been pressed into the ground, and he breathed a long sigh of relief. He pulled out the electric pill inserted on the side and looked at the reincarnationists in the field who had been frightened by his hand. Shamo said helplessly, Adan Ling'er, this is what you said about Doraemon's own strength not being strong. If the kick just now was not towards the ground, but towards the reincarnationists, it is estimated that this kick would send a reincarnationist to see God. And Ling'er said awkwardly, what did I just say about this? I didn't say it. I took it back. I didn't see anything. Xiao Bai. Hai Bodong. Batman Wayne. Lu Pijang thought for a while and said, Doraemon is not a few hundred years in the future, but tens of thousands of years in the future. Technology has reached this level. The autonomous attacking lightsaber and childcare robot have this attack ability. How can they be childcare? They are clearly war machines. Just when everyone focused their attention on Doraemon, Nobita Nobita finally took out a ray gun and an air cannon from his four pockets. With the air cannon in his left hand and the ray gun in his right hand, they started to fire continuously. Nobita Nobita didn't seem to need to aim at all. One shot of the air cannon can kill a reincarnation clone, and one shot of the ray gun can penetrate the heads of three reincarnation clones. Batman Wayne fell into deep thought as he watched Nobi Nobita, who had superb shooting skills. Kirishima Tuka sighed, now we can watch a large-scale TV series. I, Nobi Nobita, am really not the god of guns. Uchiha Madara looked at Doraemon and Nobi Nobita, who were like tigers descending from the mountains and killing all around. I felt the injuries in my body and couldn't help but sigh. Now that I am so seriously injured, I have no ability to fight at all. The group leader seems to be too lazy to help me heal. Just as Nobi Nobita was firing indiscriminately, three blood energy balls attacked Nobi Nobita. Nobi Nobita backhanded an air cannon to blow it up, and turned his head to look down at the reincarnation who released a long-range blood energy attack. No longer weak as before, Nobi Nobita was extremely confident after holding the gun. Nobi Nobita and the reincarnation just stared at each other, and neither side made any move. Time seemed to stand still. The two of them were shamelessly concentrating. The next moment, they rolled to the side, and five blood energy beams were fired from their hands towards Nobi to Nobi. Nobi to Nobi smiled slightly, pressed the trigger of the ray gun with his right hand, and fired a laser energy ray. The laser first hit the side of the first beam, and finally used the rebound to hit the side of the second, third, and fourth beams, and finally hit the fifth beam and penetrated it directly, and then attacked the reincarnationist, instantly piercing the heart of the reincarnationist. Nobi to Nobi seemed to say that he didn't want to kill people, you don't kill people, and you are more decisive than anyone else when shooting. At that moment, a laser shattered all five beams from the side, and then penetrated the chest of the reincarnationist. The people in the chat group who were not strong could not see what was going on. Nobi to Nobi was in a very critical situation just now. 
The whole situation changed dramatically after Nobi Nobita fired that crucial shot. Because several reincarnations who were a certain distance away from Nobi Nobita saw this and quickly moved towards the direction of their reincarnation captain who had lost his ability to fight. They already knew that they would definitely not be able to defeat these powerful enemies now, and what they had to do now was to run with their captain. Nobi Nobita looked at the other reincarnations who were moving out of the phantom at an accelerated speed and smiled slightly and said, let you run 999 meters first. Nobi Nobita waited for several reincarnations to run away, and then Nobita raised the ray gun in his hand at a 45 degree angle and fired five shots in a row. Five rays of light directly caught up with the fleeing reincarnations. Five rays of light directly penetrated the chests of the five reincarnations who were fleeing rapidly. Only the female reincarnation who was carrying the reincarnation captain survived. The female reincarnation looked at the team members who were about to lose their breath of life, and she made up her mind, knowing that she could not escape. The next moment, he gathered all the blood energy to form a chain, pulled out the blood energy from the bodies of several dragon shine people around him, and slapped the captain of the samsaras in the chest. He injected all the gathered blood energy into the captain of the samsaras. The captain of the samsaras only felt a strong blood energy running through his body. He looked at Fang in disbelief, who let all the gathered blood energy blast into his body. The next second, all the samsaras turned into ashes, leaving only people or captains standing there with their heads down, feeling the burning blood energy in their bodies. Suddenly he raised his head and looked at the people in the chat group with resentment. The blood energy in his body surged and turned into a giant made of blood energy. The blood energy giant stared at the people in the chat group with his scarlet eyes. Doraemon looked at this blood energy giant with extraordinary momentum, resentment and murderous intent condensed into substance. No what do you mean, take out a flashlight like prop. It is the shrinking lamp that can shrink everything. Doraemon shines a light on the blood-sucking giant that is nearly 100 meters tall. The next second, the blood-sucking giant that is more than 100 meters tall becomes the size of a plastic cup. Seeing this, Uchiha Ban walked over despite the injuries in his body and stomped it into a pulp. Ding. The mission of killing the reincarnation is completed. Congratulations to Shamo for getting 1000 points, Uchiha Madara for getting 800 points, Nobi Nobita for getting 500 points, and Zhang Chulin for getting 100 points. Ding. New member I am not a little idiot has joined the chat group. The story of the chat group continues. The book is over. Thanks for watching.